Good morning. It is Thursday, February 2nd, and it's regional. It's time for makeup. And you're probably like, why are you wearing makeup to go lift? Because I look dumb and ugly if I don't. You guys know nothing about weightlifting, basically. Like pretty much every other sport, there's counties, districts, and then regionals and the states. The top 20 in each weight class are going today. And then from there, the top 20 in each state division, there's three go on to states. It's a bit intimidating. Um, I almost made it to states last year as a freshman with barely doing anything. But there was one girl from Fort Myers that did 95 and I only got 90 and they messed it up. So they told me I made it and then they were like, actually, never mind, you didn't. So that was a very sad time. But I'm hoping to make it this year. But everybody is really good this year, so I have to get a 135 clean and jerk, but I'm hoping 140 because 135 is nothing. I've just been in a little bit of a slump recently and my maxes have dropped really bad. Like, I should be doing way more by now, but I went through it. I'm going to use this Watermelon Treat Hut Shave Oil because last night I left like the best like a look on my legs and my legs are gonna be so ashy today singlet portable charger and airpods and then i don't think i needed anything else i'm not gonna bring a real camera so i'll just be filming on my phone I am back home now. I just showered, but today was a very, very long day. So I weighed in really light, which is a really good like benefit because if you tie with somebody, the person with a lower body weight wins. So I've weighed in really light, which really does help me today because if I would have been like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like I'm in my weight class and not washed it at eight yesterday, then I would have been in like the higher range of my weight class and that would have not helped me out with what I'm about to tell you. So I was feeling a lot better today because in the whole month of January, my lifts were just mm, not the best. So I was feeling better today. And if you guys don't know, I have really bad shoulder pain and my upper body just, oh gosh. So I put KT tape around my shoulders. And then while I was warming up for snatch, one of my snatches went behind me during warmups and it killed my elbow. So I put KT tape on my elbow and nobody decided to tell me that that was in the rule book and you couldn't do that. So I snatched everything. I was wearing bright blue KT tape, nothing. Perfectly fine, the whole meat. And then we get into clean and jerk and I put even more KT tape on my shoulders because my shoulders were beginning to kill by that point. So I warmed up and I honestly was like a little bit nervous for clean and jerk because clean and jerk is not my strongest point, especially my jerks. Um, they are very killer for me. All I needed was 110 and 135 and I would be like in there, like I would have a chance to qualify. And I hit 135, I got it. And I was like, perfect, like we're locked in, like we're going. States, here I come. And then I'm all happy. And then my coach calls me over to the hallway and is like, I'm so sorry to break it to you kid, but they disqualified you. And I was like, they what? So apparently you can't have KT tape on your elbow at all or like anything covering your elbow. I guess having it on my elbow would not be able to like see if I pressed out or not. Like I don't know the reasoning behind the rule, but that was a rule that I was not informed about. And I went the entire meet not knowing anything of it. And the second I was done with my lifts and I was all happy, they were like, you are in fact disqualified. So I started bawling my eyes out. I... Because, like, you work so hard for something and then they're just like, no, you're disqualified. Like, they just snatch it from you in a second. Like, everything you've ever worked for, it just, nope, bye, you're disqualified. 
and honestly I was just crying and crying and crying like I literally was so so devastated because like, I still have a couple years left so like it wasn't like that but it's just the fact that they just ripped it away like that and I couldn't do anything about it overall this might be my last meet of the season we'll find out very very soon and I'll let you know in this video so stay tuned till the end but that was my day regionals 2023 and we'll see if I make it or not so I'm already ready for bed, so I'm literally just, I want to get in my bed and just lay there because I'm so, so, so exhausted and my head still hurts from crying. So, that is it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to school, so you guys are going to come with me. And then, Universal in Emily's cheer competition. Obviously, that too. <laughs> okay, guys, we're out of school now. Today was literally the most pointless day ever. I cannot tell you one thing I did today. I literally came to school to do nothing. It wasn't bad. Oh. So, like, what did I come here to do? Sit on my phone. School was fun today. It wasn't bad. Okay, but, like, there was just... I could have just stayed home, you know? But I really need to pee, like, always. Anyways, so... I didn't film today either. Even though I was allowed to go on my phone, I just didn't film anything in school. So... This is all of school. It was really boring today. And our fifth period was so funny because so the girl funny. next to me was on her phone, even though we weren't supposed to be on our phone in fifth period. And she and this guy were arguing, I guess they're like dating or something. <laughs> she was like, we need to be able to communicate. And he, she was like, he was like, what are you talking about? And he was going off on him. And then he was like, well, if you have so much to say, then just leave. And then she was like, I don't want to leave. And then he was like, well, they were just going back and forth. And she, Not talking on the phone. Like texting. She was just like, like looking, I don't thing. care. It was so funny. And then the girl across from us was doing her makeup with her, her phone up in the middle of class. Okay, guys, it is after school. We didn't end up going to the gym. So we just went to go pick up Emily. And now it's almost five. And I'm packing for the trip. I'm a, here, ready? You guys say stop and I'm going to get one. Stop. <laughs> you got this one. Of course, it's that one. Of course. My favorite hoodie ever, of course. We're ready. Okay, guys, so we currently are at the hotel. We made it, but it's 9 15 and we're hungry and nobody wants to go anywhere. So we are going to order some Uber Eats at the moment. I don't really know how to work this. Okay, yeah. So basically, we were just messing around and my Ooh, foot hit this light right here and we got it on video so we're gonna get it onto the computer and edit it because it's so funny <laughs> wait why did i do it like no i was so scared for my life i look up and i'm like okay perfect let's do it and then i go bang. <laughs> I was so good. Wait, can you zoom in? I can't. Wait, can you not zoom in? No, no, no. I was like, what did that? <laughs> you want to get it? Cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Oh. What did you get? Um, can I get a truly, please? Yes, which one is it? Um, the strawberry one, please. This one? Yeah, that one, please. What about you, buddy? Dad, that's alcohol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I he was just alcohol. messing with you. That's not this a Celsius. Is I didn't even know. This no, is this alcohol. alcohol. My dad got salmon, oh green God. beans, and rice. He is on that healthy grind. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm gonna shower now. Just ate. And we're gonna go to bed and then we're gonna have fun tomorrow. We're gonna wake up early and we're gonna go to hit the gym before. Good Because what today is what? Universal Day. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so we went down to the gym. I barely worked out because my nose was like burning and it was making my head hurt. So we just went to go get breakfast and I had three hash, no, I think I had four hash browns. I got this baking egg and cheese thing, but I did not like it. So I just had the hash browns and some waffle. But now we are back up at the room. I just changed into my camo leggings from yesterday. My NMD things are just like my only like walking, like running shoe. So I'm wearing that. This tank top is from Cotton On and then this Lulu zip up thing. So that's the outfit because it's cold outside, which of course it's cold outside. Yeah, I am so full. Like I feel like I can't even breathe. Right hey now. guys, I'm on my little camera Ooh. and we just got off the bus and we are heading up to the city walk and then we're going to Islands of Adventure. Okay, first ride, Velocicoaster. I think that's what it's called. Look at them. This one is so good. Look at her copying me. Anyways, so we're gonna go on that one. Okay guys, so it's a 40 minute wait. So we're heading down there now. This is the one right here. Okay guys, so I have it double wrapped on my wrist and I have my sleeve on, so we're gonna film. Okay, we have to put our phones and everything away, so we'll see you guys after. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I forgot it being that good. Emily, what'd you think? It was good, but like it made my head hurt a little bit. I know, it was so, so fast. When it like, at the end when it launched us again. Yeah, it, it literally took us like two feet up on the water. It was so good. But now we're gonna go get some food. Oh my god. Look gosh. at our faces. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wait, where's Uriel? Oh, look oh. at Uriel. Oh, which one? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, the guy, the guy next. Time for Harry Potter. Are you so excited? Yeah, this is my favorite part. This part is so pretty. They did such a good job. Harry Potter motorbike one. And it's an 85 minute wait, so we are waiting the 85 minutes. Packs, purses, wands. Okay, and there's been a delay, so we're waiting more. We've already been waiting for like an hour. I'm going on the bike, and Uriel's going in the little car. Okay, we're going. I got the bike. Oh crap, bye. broke down to like a minute yeah. but then it just kept going but that was good but it wasn't like crazy good yeah, it, was just, it was fun it was a good ride dad are you ready i'm, I'm so ready take your time okay all right dad's gonna do this we'll see he has to win me something dad what was that dad <laughs> oh you caught me one. Oh wait again come on two. <gasps> Oh, oh, no. oh, no, bro. <laughs> Dad won me a fist, but now we're gonna step up for the bigger ones. And he's gonna win me this little guy right here. You got this. Are you ready? We do. Oh, that was so close. Oh, did you make that? Oh, Chad, you screwed it up. <laughs> no, no, give me the big one. Aww, <laughs> If you don't make one, I'm gonna break up with you. Okay, this is your last try, or we're over. Oh my gosh, we're done. Okay, Emily and my mom left, and now we are at the little Dr. Seuss land, and we're gonna go on the little merry-go-round. My dad won me this for that purpose. But yeah, we're gonna go on this. Let's do this one. This is my guy. Look at him. Look at look, this. It's called a merry-go-round. Oh, a merry-go-round. We're on the merry-go-round. Okay, guys. So we just grabbed some water because I felt like I was gonna pass out. He got his third coffee, and Uriel got a I'm little so strawberry excited. refresher. So He's trying to put the little punching glove on. So weird. Anyways, we're leaving because we're tired. It's almost like 2:30, I think. But we're out. Okay guys, I really really need to get better at remembering to film outros, but
here I am now. That was 72 hours in my life. I really hope you guys enjoyed, but I kind of left you guys on a little bit of cliffhangers, so I'm going to give you guys some context. So basically, right after that last clip that you just saw, we just went back to the hotel room and got ready for Emily's cheer comp and we watched her perform she did really good and she ended up winning the competition even though the team she was going against was a team that was not in their division but they didn't know where else to put them so they put them against each other and they beat them so very very proud i didn't really give you guys that much information when it came to my weightlifting so i did get disqualified but my coach argued against it and eventually after some discussing they let me keep like all of my lifts except for my last 135 lift so my total was like 240 and it is now monday and i know the results and the results are that i did not make it with my total and i was really upset about it in the moment but now i've healed i've processed and i've grieved and i'm okay it's obviously annoying because i work so hard but it's fine i always have next year so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys want more of these vlogs week in my life let me know and you shall receive so bye hope you guys enjoy